Asteroid alert. NASA tracks three space rocks heading past our Earth together. Will they hit? This is happening now, today. Sebastian Ketley Express UK reports that three asteroids are barreling past our planet at breakneck speeds and they will be, uh, of course, at us these past few days and next week. They're expected to scrape past Earth within hours of each other. This is what the space agency NASA has found. They have told us recently that usually asteroids don't come in alone. They're either binary or they come in in groups. This is what's happening in this case. The asteroids are flying in Earth's direction on trajectories dubbed as astronomers' Earth close approaches. Earth close approaches. The asteroids will all come screaming on by Monday, September 3rd and on. The NASA expects the first of the three tracked space rocks, asteroid 219SH3, to appear around 2.37 a.m. or 1.37 a.m. UTC next week. On its closest approach, the rock will reach speeds of around 31,675 miles an hour. Now, what do we know about these three asteroids that are flying past us? According to NASA Center for Near-Earth Objects, the CNEOs, all three, these three space rocks are classified as near-Earth objects, or NEOs. NEOs are the comets, asteroids, celestial bodies trapped in our inner solar system that come very close to our planet. And occasionally, an asteroid will come close enough to Earth's orbit for NASA to monitor its trajectory because they want to track how close it could be and uh, for a possible potential impact, of course. Now, if that happens, I don't think at this point in time we have anything that will be able to stop that. Space Agency says, as they orbit the Sun, near-Earth objects occasionally approach close to Earth. And we have four asteroids that uh, are going to be coming very close to us. Bennu, in the year 2182, is about 1,500 uh, feet across in diameter, probability of 1 in 1,000 of a strike. Uh, the uh, asteroid 214J025, the year 2027, that's about in uh, 10 years, that's about over 1,200 feet across in diameter, probability of 1 in 8,300. Then we have the 214 AG5, year 2040. That's about 500 feet in diameter, probability 1 in 625. Then we have the Apophis. It will be coming around us in 10 years, but the, also the uh, approach that will be about 2068. Probability 1 in 150,000. That's about 1,200 feet across. Now the CNEOs calculate the motion of all NEOs forwards to 2020 AD and back to 1,090, 900, 1,900 AD, that's about 100 years ago, and determines the times and distances of the Earth's closed approaches. First of these three asteroids is a space rock known as asteroid 219 SH3. 219 means it was just discovered this year. Asteroid SH3 is the second largest of the trio. It's estimated to measure somewhere about uh, 62.3 feet to 138 feet in diameter. The asteroid is flying through space at speeds of 31,675 miles an hour. The rock's closest approach to our planet will occur about 1.37 a.m. Uh, this was supposed to be yesterday. Shortly after, asteroid 219SN3 will skim past our planet at uh, 11.46 UTC. Okay, that's about three hours later. Not three, uh, ten hours later. And uh, the asteroid is the smallest of those three space rocks. NASA estimates NS3 measures somewhere in the range of six, uh, 46, 43 feet across. The asteroid traveling through space speeds of about... 27,648 kilometers or 17,200 miles an hour. So the final of the three asteroids is a space rock known as Asteroid 219SP. 
asteroid is B measures about 112 feet across to 250 feet across, making it the largest of the three asteroids heading at us. And it will be closing into Earth around 541 UTC in the morning. During this approach, NASA said the space rocks will travel at speeds of about 33,688 miles an hour. Now, will any of these hit the Earth? And, uh, do you think today, tomorrow, the day after? Thankfully, there is no need to sound the alarm bells because all three space rocks will safely miss our planet. The closest of three rocks, asteroid SM3, to approach Earth from distance of 0 0.00565 astronomical units. As we know, one astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is about 93 million miles. Asteroid SM3 will cut, its, uh, cut this down to 50, 525,000 miles, and uh, that's only twice as far as the Moon from Earth. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.